Hey, what is up guys? My name is Richard Yam and in this video, we're going to be doing a 0.5 fade. One of my favorite hail quests to do. So right here, we're doing no guard all the way open and we're just creating our first guideline. As you can see, just putting that line in. This way we know what is the shortest length that we are working with. And now I believe it's a uh, two guard all the way closed and this will be the longest length that we will be fading into. So for me, I like to start with the shortest length and working from top to bottom. And now I have the one and a half guard. I'm starting off with going all the way open and then slowly working our way down. So as you can see, I just closed the lever after going through the same motion with the one and a half open. So what I'm doing as I'm fading down is I'm looking at how the hair is reacting to each card. So after that, this is the next card down, the number one. Again, I always go open before I go close. So number one open, going slightly over again and seeing how the hair reacts. So this will determine how far up I go and what I need to do. Next is all the way close. Again, same thing. Going straight up, resting the clipper on the head and never digging into it. So we got the next guard down and it's our 0.5 guard. We're doing pretty much the same thing. So we're working that bottom section of the hair, trying to blend that in into whatever we have going on at the top. So here I start open and then after the open, I will close it halfway this time. So half guard, halfway, and then after that, I will close it all the way and that should completely fade out the line. If not, then all you have to do is take the clipper guard off and go back in with the level open and that will completely remove any line that we started with. So with the dark spot near the top of the head, so that's created because when you go with the clipper straight up, there's a point in the head where it starts to round. That will create this bark right here. I don't like to get rid of it with clippers. I like to just use scissor over comb with the texturizer shears just to blend it out. And at the same time, I'm doing a little bit of detail work, uh, blending out any darker area that I see. And so far at this point, you can detail the fade a little bit more with the clippers, but it's not necessary. And right here, to blend out the sideburn area, I'm just going back with the clipper all the way open. And I'll close it halfway and eventually all the way. Afterwards, there'll be a slight spot left and then you just use the trimmer, tackle that and that should be it.
So I believe there he was explaining to me he doesn't want to take much off the top. He just wants to thin it out, create a little bit more texture. And that's exactly what we're doing now. This is the final look of the haircut. Please let me know what you guys think. And if you like the content and learn something new, please subscribe for more videos to come. And appreciate all you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time.